So, hello, welcome to another interview for GIE. My name is Jacques Gubier, I work in Brussels. I'm a gastroenterologist and I'm interviewing Dr. Uh, Todd Baron from uh, the Mayo Clinic in Rochester on an article which is a meta-analysis of the randomized control trials comparing the patency of uncover stent versus uh, cover stent for palliation of malignant jaundice. So Todd, uh, in your paper you have some major findings. You get uh, five randomized control trials mm -hmm. and you come to the conclusion that there is an increase uh, duration of patency and stent survival right. uh, with uh, cover stent compared with uncover stent. So can you a little bit uh, detail your findings mm -hmm. and maybe define what is yeah. the duration of patency and the stent survival? Yeah. So um, what we did is uh, there were re two recent studies in GI endoscopy actually that came out together, uh, one of which we were part of that was partially covered versus uncovered. Uh, and the other study was similar, and they came to the conclusion actually that there was no difference in patency. So when we started this meta-analysis, we actually thought maybe there would, still would not be any difference in patency, uh, but we were able to find five studies of randomized trials that had almost 800 patients total between the five studies. Interestingly, two of the studies are randomized trials that come from the percutaneous literature, um, where we assumed that the stent patency uh, would really not be any different. Uh, the complications of insertion might be different, but the actual patency once they were in uh, would be the same. So we included, again, two studies from the radiologic literature. Um, so uh, stent patency and stent survival, um, and actually I'm really gonna have to think about this because it was trouble, I had trouble with that when we were doing the paper, is, uh, <clears throat> So stent patency is how long the stent actually stays patent. Uh, stent survival is a, how long before the stent occludes or a dysfunction occurs. So recurrent jaundice can either be because the stent falls out or because the stent occludes. Um, and what we found was that we had a significant difference in stent patency uh, between the two groups, uh, there were 61 days more uh, patency with the covered compared to the uncovered. Uh, interestingly, the same percentage of patients had a stent dysfunction between the two groups, but if stent dysfunction was going to occur, it occurred later in the covered group. Um, the other thing I think that was um, that we found that was interesting was that the cholecystitis rate, which is a concern that people have, as you know, for covering the cystic duct, uh, was low. It was 2% for each group. It wasn't different. And the pancreatitis rate was also the same. Um, the, the cholecystitis rate might have been the same uh, because they were the, each, each author um, or the protocol was very careful about where they placed the stent in relation to the cystic duct. Um, and there was one group that had a few side holes that they specifically centered over where the cystic duct was. So it might be in the reality of daily practice that there might actually be a higher rate, but they were particularly careful uh, with the cholecystitis. But the, the two papers with endoscopic placement of stents, which were recently published in GI endoscopy, were negative. And when we look at your first table, the table one, and we look at the stents, which are used in the different trials. You have cover stand, PTFA cover, polyurethane stand. Also the uncover stand are very often the old wall stand, which are almost never used anymore. Right, and right. And you, you have also some stands which are not commercialized anymore. Right. So don't you think that in some way, yeah, uh, well, by putting that together, we compare yeah. apple and oranges? Well, uh, yeah, we made a couple of assumptions. One is that uh, all uncovered stints behave the same in terms of patency, and that all covered stints behave the same in patency. Um, let's speak to the first part. There actually are uh, a reasonable number of comparative uncovered to uncovered stint studies, um, at least five, I think, that we could find and quote um, as references to show that there doesn't seem to be a major difference in the differences in uncovered stints. So you're absolutely right. The, uh, we had to make some assumptions 
We don't know, like you said, if the covering on the covered stints affects the, the outcome, and that could certainly sway the results. And I think that's certainly one of the limitations. And as you mentioned, um, some of those stints are not available, certainly in the United States, or like you said, were, were outdated. Um, so I think you know, there probably is still room for more studies to be done to show conclusively that our results stand up over time. Because most of your results in terms of stent patency and stent survival are coming precisely from the two percutaneous studies. Correct. Which are comparing, let's say, PTFA cover stent, the large generation with the older stent uncovered, yeah. with, a, 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 I would say, a radiological follow-up. Right. And so maybe we can put a question mark yeah. for this uh, definitive uh, Study. answer on, right. on stent patency. And stent I, I, I would agree with that. And, and hopefully there will be more studies. Uh, that, uh, that's why I hope this isn't the last of the comparative trials. And for, for the impact on your, on your practice now, does it mean that you will place cover stent for all the malignant distal structure? Or will you will take some caution for those who have an, an invasion of the cystic duct or those who might? Yeah. Being subject to cholecystitis? Yeah, I think you're absolutely right that we, we don't uniformly have not converted to cover stents because of what you mentioned. So we're individualizing it. But in the past, I've leaned toward not using covered at all because I wasn't convinced the patency rate was any better and the cost is higher, the migration is higher. So, I, so I've kind of converted a little bit more toward using, but not completely. Okay, thank you very much, Todd. It was a pleasure thank discussing you. with you. Thank you very much.